Hey fellow collector, Shuki here with a review of the DX Lube Crystal Set 01 from Ultraman Lube. So of course we have sets, we always have sets uh, for gimmicks. We're used to with Ryder, we're used to from Sentai and the times that Sentai does have gimmick sets. Uh, and of course we're used to it with Ultraman by now between the orb cards and the, the, the fusion cards rather and the uh, Ultra Capsules, and now the Rube Crystals. So this, uh, as, as normal uh, with these, includes two Ultras and two Monsters. Uh, these corresponding with the first two episodes of the series. Uh, seven is uh, kind of important-ish, and Jeet Primitive is just here because I think he was the last Ultra. <laughs> <laughs> so they wanted to get him out as fast as possible. Uh, so yeah, set of four. Uh, this costs roughly uh, 1200 dinner so you take, depending on when and where you picked it up. Uh, released as well in July 2018. Uh, so there you go. Not not too bad. Uh, these are roughly 10-ish dollars. A little bit less than uh, on HLJ and stuff like that. So not too bad for four additional little gimmicks. Uh, right here, you can see that the Ultra Capsules can be used in both of Ultraman Ru uh, Rosso and Ultraman Blues formations to do slightly different light combinations. Again, that's all they really do. And the monsters uh, can be done in whichever way uh, to to do their little roars and stuff like that. But what, what mode you do ultimately doesn't matter and I'll show that off. Uh, and then down here it shows off uh, ult the Ultra 7 uh, crystal in the Ruba Slugger, which I had just got today, actually. I uh, will be taking a look at relatively soon. Uh, it does do different things in the Rube Slugger depending on the forms. Uh, that toy has like a specific list of crystals that it works with, and the Ultra 7 crystal is one of them. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get this open and take a look. All right, here we go. So the set in total includes the Black King, crystal and all the uh, kaiju crystals and the monster crystals all have a black uh, border around the back so that's kind of cool uh, the grigio bone crystal this is one of the new monsters for ultraman rube as i was saying before the ultra 7 crystal and the jeed primitive crystal so pretty cool. Let's go ahead and start with the Jeet Primitive. And again, each one has a blue formation and a Rosso formation. So without further ado, there really isn't a whole lot else to go over uh, with these. There is that. Here is the pins down at the bottom. And if we look in here, there is a number B52. Uh, on those, I'll try to remember to show off the numbers, but I don't promise you a whole lot in that regard. I'll try. <laughs> Bring in our Rube Gyro. Uh, so it doesn't say Ultraman Rosso or anything like that, but it does say Ultraman Jeed Primitive. Uh, so it says the name of the crystal, and it does the associated lights associated with that combo. So it was the red and red uh, again. And if we do it one more time... Yep, that uh, is it. The crystals that don't do a form change uh, don't have associated attack noises, which in my humble opinion is the biggest flaw with this toy. Not only is the sound, uh, like the sound chip rather limited in what it says, we've already seen like the full list of sounds that are available in this thanks to Crane Joe, and it is very truncated compared to what we're used to with stuff like the G-Riser. 
Uh, the Jade Riser had not only all like the jingles for the associated uh, Ultraman forms, and it had like all the Ultraman characters, a lot of the monsters that are associated like Roars, but it had all the transformation jingles for the Ultraman, as well as all their attack noises as well. And this doesn't have that, and I feel like it makes it a huge step down from what we're used to. And uh, I, I think that's uh, kind of the biggest bummer. I was really excited about this toy in general just because I love the way it looks. I like the way the crystals function. And uh, to, to finally get it, and uh, it was like very simple to use too. There was no scanning or fusions or anything like that. So I was really excited. And then they kind of truncated it. And I'm a little bit bummed by that. Again, no attack noise. So, uh, yeah, I'm I'm definitely really bummed about that. I, I feel like this toy is ultimately a step down from what we're used to with the two Fusion series. Uh, and I'm just really kind of upset about it. Like, it, it took a lot of the wind out of my sails uh, for this line, to be absolutely honest. Love the way everything looks, but just this not having the attack noises, I feel like after the Orbring and the uh, Jeed uh, Riser, the releases, are some, there's no reason for this to be such a step down uh, from everything, but alas, this is what was delivered, so here we go. It's like a Pokeball. And of course, like all the Showa Ultraman I'll have just like very simple like woo, 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 noises as their transformation and so like it's truncated even more. <laughs> like there, there's no reason for the attack noise not to be there. Now thankfully some of these do work in the Rube Slugger to get an attack noise uh, so I can appreciate that at the very least but still like I don't know. That's a great ball. Yay, woo, brr, woo, woo, noises. <laughs> uh, so yeah, I am I'm just really disappointed in the way that uh, this toy ended up absolutely shaking up to be now. Uh, and it, it kinda takes a wind out of my sails in wanting to collect uh the, the crystals in general, uh, all of them anyway. Obviously the form ones are important and getting your favorite ultras are important, but like what's the point if all they're gonna do is make a rrr, rrr, rrr sound at the end of the day, you know what I mean? So here's the Grigio bone. If I can uh, do it right. Or, or I can not do it right. What am I doing wrong? There we go, did it. So all of the monsters have a purple color. Oh no, blue <laughs> It's a, it's the same it's the same noise. Calm down. And if we go ahead and do blues formation for the monsters, we already technically did Rosos by having that uh, covered. You'll see that absolutely nothing is different with the lights. So everything that matters here is just the type of the monster. So this one was red, and the monster will always be purple. So if we take a look at Black King. It'll be green and purple. Yeah, I did it right. I'll, I'll do that again because I was stupid and started talking. Brrrr. 
to you too. So uh, that uh, that is that with these. Uh, so of course, more toys will be released that function with these. Like I said, the uh, the Rube Slugger uh, can read the some of the crystals, and they are really neat. Again, I do love the way that these look with the the kanji in there and the different colors and the rather nice looking picture of the character. Uh, in the middle. So I, I do like these and I do want to collect as many of them as I can. But again, just with the functionality drop, uh, I feel like the, the need and desire for a lot of these is significantly reduced. But hey, that's just what we get at the end of the day, I suppose. So kind of use your own judgment. Uh, maybe just hunt down the ones that you really like and uh, the form change ones and stuff like that. But I'll definitely be hunting down all of the actual sets and stuff like that. I just don't know how far in this line I'm going to go in terms of the Gashapon candy toy, the event ones, and all that stuff. So let me know if you want uh, more of these in the future, and maybe I'll hunt down those odd and end ones. But as for now, I think I'm just going to stick to the actual retail line uh, for these for now. So let me know what you want in the comments down below, and let me know what you think of these in the comments down below. And as always, thanks for watching, take care, and have a great one. Bye. I'd like to thank Mike, Joey, Joe, John, Josh, VZ17, and all my fans who support me on Patreon.